John Bead, distributor of over 50,000 beads, crystals, and components, and direct importer of the complete line of Preciosa Crystal, Mayuki Delica and Seed Beads, and Preciosa Ornella Czech Glass Beads and Charlottes. JohnBead.com. I'm here with Candy Cooper and she is going to show us how to layer vintage elements to create this really elegant look. Let's take a look at these necklaces. Candy, they're beautiful. Thank you. You're I, welcome. I've always loved vintage, so to make my own vintage looking jewelry is really wonderful. Um, yeah, if you take a look, we've started with a really chunky, bold, sparkly pendant, which gives mm -hmm. it that really glamorous Hollywood look. It really does. And then with these brass components that have been antiqued and this gunmetal colored chain. Mm -hmm. It really tones it down mm -hmm. and gives it that really beautiful vintage look. It has a really nice patina. All the pieces really yes. kind of pick up that patina color and those crystals, are, they have the foiling on the back too so that makes yes. it even more sparkly, right? And it bounces between the brass and the, um, the foil and the brass kind of go together. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple um, necklaces that you can actually wear together, which I'm going to tell you about later. Oh, good. But let's go ahead and take a look at all these great pendant shapes that you can use for this, the starting piece. Okay, I never would have thought to layer this really glamorous piece together with the antique feel. I mean, I know they have a vintage look, but it just hadn't occurred to me that the Czech crystal is so bold, and when you layer it together, it almost brings it out. It's really, it really complimentary. Does. It really does. So I've got a few different um, pendants, and you can see the different colors. We're using, for this piece, more of a fall palette, but uh, you know, for spring, this purple and la uh, lavender and blue would be great too. Mm -hmm. And there's different sizes. Um, and then you have your brass focal pieces. And the cool thing about these is because these pendants have a little bit of curve to them, you can actually just use your thumbs oh. and manipulate that a little bit to give it a curve. So when it sits on top of your beautiful pendant, you have it so it's kind of nestled together. Right. It's kind of shaped. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we'll keep those together. And what I'm using is the gold beading wire. Mm -hmm. Now, does it matter what diameter you use? I like to use the 0.015, but you okay. know, mm -hmm. something, I double it up so it's really strong. Oh, yeah. And you have your seed beads too, so that would pass through there twice, right? Yes. And these um, Japanese seed beads are almost as sparkly as the Czech crystal which is nice. I love your color choices with this piece. They're just gorgeous. Thank you. So I've gone ahead and strung my sequence of beads, and really you can do anything. We're looking mm -hmm. at maybe an inch of beads. Okay. And then I went ahead and ran my wire back around through. And the what whole I'm, length of the circle. Yes. Okay. And so what I'm going to do then is just hold on and snug it up, which takes some... Some might. Yes. There. And I'm going to run my last wire tail. I have to take a closer look through that crimp bead. I should have probably done that first. So once you get it through there, you just want to make sure there's enough space inside your crimp bead yes. for all of these wires, right? Yes. And what I'm going to actually do is knot it. You're sneaky. I, I know. <laughs> I just don't want it to mm -hmm. come undone. This mm -hmm. is a heavy pendant. Um, and, and is that part sure of creating on. the beaded bale in this piece? I mean, I know it adds a decorative element, but mm -hmm. also it's a structural yes. decision, right? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my knot. The first thing I'm going to do is crimp the crimp bead. And I'm just using the chain nose pliers since I have my knot also. Okay. So you can just crimp that and then trim the ends. Okay. And the gold wire is great because it blends in with everything And then else. on this piece, what you did, show us this technique. Now, all the complete instructions for these pieces are on the website. Absolutely. But for this technique, you're using an eye pen and some bead caps, right? Right. And I'm just making a very simple beaded loop. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using these as my links nestled inside these great I love brass nestling rings. I them that way, too. Me, too. And um, it's really an easy necklace to make mm -hmm. uh, with the different layers and components. But so it looks really, link. it looks, those are my favorite projects where it is actually quite easy, but it looks difficult. Yeah. You know? And I've gone ahead and just used a large jump ring mm -hmm. through the ring and the loop and on the beaded head pin. Laying your eye pin right in there. That looks great right. with that chain. And then you can slide your chain through your pendant oh, okay. and then repeat on the other side. Right. Now with this piece, how did you decide on these? Well, I went with the oat-shaped 
check crystal, mm -hmm. but you there's so many choices. You could use anything. Right. And I've gone ahead and um, made another beaded loop. But this one, it looks like you used a jump ring in the middle there. I did. Or you could use extra lengths of chain. Mm -hmm. So we have the um, beaded loops, and then what you're going to do is just connect this to the middle of your necklace. And I want to kind of talk about how I build these so they go together. Okay. And what I do is I use a neck form. And I actually, I'll tack it in the back with a pin so it holds it in place. And then you can kind of really see the, the drape that you're getting. And then, once I get that. So if you were, if you were, let's say you're just getting started, you would take this piece, right? Right. And you would kind of just yes. lay it here on the neck. Right, and then and I would use it. a jump ring to connect this last link. Mm -hmm to the end that's, of the I chain. I think that's a really good tip because um, I use a beadboard a lot, but this would give you some more dimension and see what it's you know, yes. going to look like as it's hanging to. Yes, and you, you can really make some custom um, fitted pieces really because you know we're all different shapes. So right. you put these together then, you have the other one. Oh, and sorry. Your, that's okay. As you're laying them up here then you can yeah. kind of work. That one's oh, upside sorry. down. But the neat thing about this piece is you can wear them separate, but I actually put two clasps on the end of so the larger here at piece. The end. Yes, and so what happens then, we'll get nestled in here <laughs> together, is I have the spring ring clasp mm -hmm. that can be undone, two spring rings can be undone and hooked to this jump ring. Here. Oh, here, let's lay it on the pad and you can show us okay. how you connect it there. Perfect. So we have this pretty little rose clasp. And then we have these really super functional and strong clasps that match our chain. Mm -hmm. And you have to open both of them at the same time and fit oh, them to get through them apart. The, mm -hmm, which we'll see if I can do. Okay. And then you're just going to take one of these and attach it here on each side. You can just lay it on there, sure? I think. Yeah, okay, look yeah. at the idea. So there, mm -hmm. and connect it like that and wear it all together. Candy, this is such a great idea. I love the way that you combine the check crystals and the... John Bead, distributor of over 50,000 beads, crystals, and components, and direct importer of the complete line of Preciosa Crystal, Mayuki Delica and Seed Beads, and Preciosa Ornella Check Glass Beads and Charlottes. JohnBead.com.